seek positive energy, keep your frequency high, and always think outside of the box. What is going on everybody? I'm Celos, and I want to welcome you guys to my channel, Pay Yourself Back. And if you have not subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for guys, it's totally free. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it. So today guys, I'm here at the Dr. Von Mizell and Ula Johnson State Park here in South Florida guys, located right here off of Ocean Drive or A1A. We're in Dania Beach, Florida. This is a very, very attracting park. In case you guys don't know where we're at right now, this is actually the inlet that goes out to the Port Everglades. You can see the cargo, the big cargo ship over there. I mean, there's so many things to do here at this park. They're all nice, but this one really has it because right on the other side over there is the Atlantic Ocean and the beach. And we're gonna walk over there and uh, I'm gonna show you guys around over there. If you are a military veteran with a service-connected disability and you have this card right here, all your entry into your entry into all of the Florida State Parks is totally free, guys. So, I bought my scooter today. A lot of people out biking, doing their thing. Uh, we're just gonna have to see how it go. Paddle boats, you name it. There's a lot of things going on here, guys. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite parks. I live probably 10 minutes away, not even that far. I've been coming here all this time and never knew uh, about the history uh, of this park. And so, I guess we're gonna go ahead. I don't know why I keep saying we're. It, I'm gonna go ahead, because I'm the only one here. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys around this park and let you check it out. If you're ever in South Florida, come visit this park. See you in a minute. So I'm getting ready to head over here to a place called the Whiskey Creek Hideout where they rent kayaks, paddle boards, and they have an eatery over here. I've never, I've never tried the food, but I hear it's pretty good. So here we go again, 2021 years later, there it is over there guys. 2021 years later here we are and um, this one is really going to leave its mark in the history books never in the history never in my, my lifetime have I seen this country in such a bad state of just disarray anarchy all the above things that I never thought would happen happened so I've been coming here, like I say, all the time. And I come down this road right here, and I always wondered how people was getting over here on this side, because there's no access. There's a road right here, that, but it says like uh, employees only or something like that. So I was like, how are these people getting over here? So now, I was doing some just messing around a few weeks ago, and I said, let me just walk over here. So walk around on the bridge, and. So that's how you get that's how you get over here so let's head on over here and see what's popping see what's going on So as you can see right here guys, you can rent you a kayak, single tandem, canoe, paddle board, whatever you want to do, but we'll see. Oh, you good.
if you guys can see this, but if you look way down there, that's actually the pier for Dania Beach. This beach right here is, um, there are no lifeguards here on this side, guys. I think a lot of people, I like it over here because it's kind of sort of secluded. There's no, there's no lifeguards. I don't think that they maintain the beaches over here on this side like they do on the Hollywood side down that way in Dania Beach. Um, so, um, as you can see, this water is probably cold and there's nobody, <laughs> look, there's nobody really in the water. guys just to show you how big this park is I'm gonna jump in the truck here and we're gonna go to another area of the park on the other side actually a little bit further out This is a, a hidden gem, um, as you can see, more beach. You know what, it's been cold, so I actually, I wanna see how cold this water is. Let's see how cold it is real quick. It's, it's probably about 60 degrees right now, so I know that water's gonna be cold. Sun is out, but it's pleasant. I'm not even sweating, and, I've got, and I got on the undershirt, so you know, let's see. It's actually not that bad. I thought it would be a little bit colder, but it's actually not that, it's really not that cold. I mean, I'm saying it's not that cold, but it's probably, that's just a little, my fingers in it. I don't want to go in there and get, let's see. Ah, let's check it out. Come on. It's actually not that bad. It's not that bad. You actually got people out there. You got some people, uh, people out of kayaks out there. You got surfy dude over here. So people out there, the water's actually not that cold. I thought it would be a lot colder than what it is, but it's actually not. It's not that bad. See how many people's on this beach? Not many. And that's a good thing. And it's like two o'clock. Now I guarantee you, if you went to Hollywood or Dania Beach over here, it would be flooded. It would be packed. But over here, nobody. Now for you residents of Florida and South Florida down here, you know this park better by the name of John Lloyd, I wanna say is the, the name that it used to be called. And they changed it here. Uh, not too long ago, but um, there's a couple of pavilions down there, guys. This is actually the end of the park here, where the, where the rocks are out there. And uh, like I say, I know people 
I work with people who say back in the day they used to come here and like snorkel out there. They say it's, I don't know, but it's too choppy out there for me. But uh, a lot of security around here. You can't fly drones and stuff like that. Um, but so that's really about it, guys. It's like I said, it's a lot of things to do here at this park here. If you're ever in South Florida, come check it out. Have a good time bringing the family out. A lot of people out here barbecuing, uh, just hanging out and having a good time. I'm going to be definitely, for 2021, I'm definitely going to be going to a, a lot more beaches around. I want to go on the west, west coast side, Destin, Clearwater, places like that. I got in mind to do. So definitely going to be doing some things here for 2021, guys, making more videos, going more places, showing you guys this beautiful state, the, the, what the state has to offer the land and the sea and things like that. Appreciate you guys hanging in there and, and hope you enjoy the video guys. And I believe that's really about it. Like I say, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share the video, drop me a good comment, good positive comment. And until next time, be well, my friend. Celos out, baby. Thank you.